Yeah, a little bit of a walk and talk video. Um, so, Entecondivod made a video making a distinction between needs and wants and playing with these words. And again, these are kind of word games. Um, and that's all they are, it's word games. Uh, these are all invented words, not very descriptive. So, when we say need or want, it really doesn't matter. Um, what are we really, what are these things? And they're compulsions. Uh, you know, we can have competing compulsions, competing desires. So you could use one better word to describe what these words are. Uh, you know, these are, uh, you know, like I said, a compulsion, desire, um, an impulse, um, attracting sensation <laughs> regarding something you want. Um, and uh, our need. Um, and it really just doesn't matter to play with terminology. Um, and we can have very competing uh, things that we desire. Like, yes, you can desire to survive to be a very old person, or you can enjoy um, Twinkies, and, uh, or you can enjoy skydiving, and you could know there's a risk to your longevity uh, that might be built into that activity. And you can understand that and say, okay, I'll compare the two competing uh, compulsions, desires, ambitions. Uh, but that's what they're kind of all are. There's things that attract you and things that repel you. And you have to balance those things. Um, you know, in some sort of ge geometry, some sort of mathematics of your um, mind and understand uh, if or when there are things you can't allow to happen or if there aren't things you can't allow to happen. So one could argue that in analyzing like nuclear power or something, one could say it's only a rational conversation if we're somehow going to agree that something must be done to prevent catastrophic failure. That if catastrophic failure is going to be left open as a possibility, uh, you know, at, at, the, at the rate it exists now, that no, you can't vote for it. You can't say it's a good thing. And you could argue that for our individual lives, if you really had to toll up what you cost, the biosphere, for example, um, and you had to line up your victims and you had to actually personally kill them and harm them and torture them, uh, you'd probably understand that this isn't a good enough deal. i got to work out some other way to get what I want, um, or this is a, just a kind of a no-brainer. It's just, it's got to be a better deal. There's not enough profit in it. Um, that's really all you're really talking about. So in a kind of odd, playing with the words like want and need, uh, with the expectation that these words have some built-in authority because they exist as wants or needs or somehow that makes it mean something. It only means that you have an interest. <laughs> now, you know, the point being made by and other philosophers is that your interests have to be balanced in a world of other interests of equal value to your interest, maybe even greater value than your interests. And if you're not willing to do that mathematics, uh, one could argue you shouldn't be allowed to grab, <laughs> grab anything, to, to satisfy any of your interests, um, you know, if you're not willing to play the game fair. If you're only going to play the game when you're winning, personally, uh, and then you're going to flip it over, or do something else to make it fall over, <laughs> you know, I don't want to do the math anymore. Uh, if you're going to play that kind of game, um, yeah, then that's a cheat. That's what it's called, cheating. And it's a bad thing. You know, it sort of just breaks the whole idea of being rational or sensible or logical uh, or respectable. And so all the need and the want in the world isn't going to change the fact that you're not a respectable. <laughs> you know, so need all you want, want all you want, talk about how much you want or how much you need, 
Um, but if you're not going to do it playing a fair contextual game, recognizing your uh, the reality of the world you're in, it's full of other wants and needs. Um, yeah, there's just no point in having these words. They don't mean anything if you're saying they only mean something when I say it. <laughs> you know, they only mean something when I manifest it. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, no, but no worky. Um, you have to play it out. You have to, you know, we can model all this stuff and understand all this shit. And uh, you have an obligation to apply knowledge and understanding. Uh, you have an obligation to, uh, yeah, but it'd be a honor the context. Honor the truth of the context and recognize merely manifesting desire does not intrinsically entitle you to anything. It doesn't matter whether you call it a want or a need. It still has to be justified. Uh, period. So, till next time. Or later. Or something. Oh, that. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Um, anyway. Uh, so, entitlement, uh, justification, deserve. Entitlement, deserve. These might be really good words to uh, play with, to understand, to acknowledge that in the end, that's what you're going to have to do is defend your life, defend what you take, whether you need it or you want it, you're going to have to defend taking it or having it, acquiring it, <laughs> um, whatever, uh, and that's the bottom line. And then the bottom line, the the last line, the net line, the um, you have to justify the total, the how does it play out in all of its future permutations? Uh, it's what you're responsible for, and you can understand. Uh, largely the substance of those um, calculations in some general way and uh, yeah that's it's all it doesn't matter whether you call it want or need or desire or compulsion or almost any word bottom line you're gonna have to defend it you're gonna defend having so having, or taking, or getting, um, acquiring, is the part that's problematic. But you have to do that through a means, a mechanism, that uh, you really, again, it's not an island game. This sort of looks like an island here, there's nothing else uh, in the immediate area. But I can understand that the bugs I'm listening to, all the other stuff here, uh, is all here creating uh, the path I'm walking through. Um, it's all interwoven and uh, it's all got to be justified. That's the word these people run from. So they'll play with words like want and desire and need and but they won't <laughs> they won't even acknowledge the word justified or justification. Uh, you know as being part of the game. Um it's not the game they're playing. But it, what I would argue, I would contend, it is the real game. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is, there will be outcomes, and you've got to account for the outcomes you produce. Yeah, that got kind of complicated. You are what you do. You are what you do. 
Yeah, so you are not what you say you want or claim you need. You are what you in fact do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I think that's about enough. <sighs> totally strange day. Yeah, I just don't like I'm going all beef again. Yeah. Um it's all muffled. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. Ah, uh, that shouldn't be. See, I'm complaining now. But, yeah, sorry about that. That is tough, man. This is, it's not only that this is uphill. <laughs> you know, but, yeah, it's just, ooh. God, life is... Uh, yeah, I don't know how people do this growing old thing. As if this is what it feels like. Holy fuck. I think there's something you know else going on besides my age. But, um, it's just too, oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just not done walking, so I think I won't turn the camera off till I'm done. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm sort of done with the subject. You do have to defend, you do have to justify, you do have to explain yourself, you do have to uh, account. You have to do the accounting. It's just the truth. You gotta balance the books. It's just a fact. Uh, you know, you can evade it, <laughs> you know, but I'm calling you on it, and I'm saying that's pussy. That's bullshit. Um, that's weaselly behavior. Yeah. That's the ambition or the need or the want of the criminal is to evade the accounting. Meow. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. He's a funny little cat. Yeah. Into the garbage. Whoa! So, yeah, back home. My lovely little flowers. La 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 la. La la la. I don't know if the deers made any mess today. I didn't, I didn't do a, an accounting. <laughs> you know, the flowers. And all this stuff. But really. Quite a good gardening year. I yeah, just do love the color of these. Great color. And such, you know, just goes on and on. And there's another cat growing over there. I got a big fat cucumber. I don't know if I should. Yeah, I must have showed it to you. But it's fat. But it's the wrong color. I still don't like the fact that they're coming out yellow. Look how fat that is. It's got to be fucking, it's got to have a four inch diameter. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's enough. So until next time, thank you very much. And uh, see you next time. Yeah, I feel like this plant works. <laughs> it needs water. Yeah, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Pyro would say it's saying. Yeah, Pyro is an idiot.